Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NETCore and today I got uh, a simple error like cannot create the foreign key uh, grade grade ID with the set null reference selection because one or more referencing column are not nullable. You can see that could not create constraint or index like that and you can notice that um, in the uh, grade ID in the uh, foreign key assigned grade tables. So here we have already defined the nullable that is a grade ID. but in the package manager uh, got an error cannot create the foreign key with the set null reference selection okay if you can see in the above action method you can see in uh, on delete set null already defined but here you can see that integer not null right now so what is the problem the problem is like that also make a class is nullable okay so also make a class nullable in the assign grid first of all assign grid you can see and enrolled here we have so also make uh, nullable type nullable type nullable okay and grade is there student teacher and teacher assign a teacher session you can see in the teacher session so just save this save all these and uh, also remove the migration folder we have previously done now just go for the migration uh, add migration initial and you can see here we have migration is done successfully wait for some times it's done and update database command is applied wait for some time because uh, I think it's not done uh, due to the some referential action yeah it's got so here we have foreign key teacher session like uh, Assigned grade is removed, but uh, you can notice that in the teacher session. Do notice that. So here we have a teacher session like that. So just I want to make it nullable. Okay. So make it nullable. And uh, teacher session is there. Yearly session is also not. Okay. Everything is fine. Now just I'm going to uh, write a new migration command and after that remove the migration. You need notice that everything is fine. Add migration initial. Migration is done, but update database command is restricted due to this activity. And here we have add migration update database command. And you'll notice that everything is fine and uh, it's still successful uh, execute all these commands and uh, create a successful database that's why thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core and fix